Hi, it's Franz from McMastery. I'm back with another great video about the coagulation system, recorded by Professor Amea Wahid from Houston, Texas. This time, we're going to learn how to interpret the partial thromboplastin time. So enjoy, and I'll be back with a very short announcement at the end of this video. Here, we're going to discuss the partial thromboplastin time, or PTT. PTT is a test to measure the integrity of the intrinsic and the common pathway. To measure PTT, blood is collected in a citrate tube. Patient's platelet-poor plasma is mixed with a surface-activating agent such as silica or kaolin, and platelet substitutes such as crude phospholipid is added. Clotting time is measured, and the normal PTT is up to approximately 35 seconds. PTT measures the integrity of the intrinsic and the common pathway. The PT is a test for the integrity of the extrinsic and the common pathway. If an individual has isolated, prolonged partial thromboplastin time, then the defect is in the intrinsic pathway. Within the intrinsic pathway are factors 12, 11, 9, and 8. Therefore, causes of an isolated, prolonged partial thromboplastin time should be due to deficiency or inhibitors of these clotting factors. However, please note if an individual has abnormality of factor 12, the patient does not develop any bleeding. If levels of factor 8, 9, 11 are reduced and this condition is inherited, these are known as hemophilia A, B, and C, respectively. There are some other causes of isolated prolonged partial thromboplastin time, and these include inhibitors to factor 8, 9, and 11, von Willebrand's disease, the drug heparin, and lupus anticoagulant. Patients with von Willebrand's disease have low levels of factor 8, Heparin and lupus anticoagulant acts against multiple clotting factors, thus prolonging PTT. When faced with a prolonged PTT, what should we do next? The next test to order is a mixing study, which will be discussed again in another lesson. Wasn't that an amazing video? This video was taken from an upcoming course on the nuts and bolts of hematology and coagulation. So definitely make sure to stay tuned for that I hope to talk to you very soon.